Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to play Super Mario Advance for e-reader levels on your PSP. So if you guys don't know what the e-reader levels are, they're basically these custom levels um, that required you to scan cards on your Game Boy Advance um, to access them. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to play them on your PSP without having to have any of these cards or anything like that. Um, the levels are also on the Wii U, um, but that's pretty much it. They're just on the Game Boy Advance and on the Wii U. Also, this is an American exclusive, so if you live in Europe like me, um, you would have probably never played these levels before. So go ahead and connect your PSP to your PC, and I'll show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so once you're on your PC, a link to this page will be in the description. It's just a mega page, and this is a save file right here for the e-reader levels. So all you want to do is just go ahead and click the red download button. The file is really small at 128 KB, so it's going to download in seconds. Once you've got your save file, head over to your PC's download folder, and you will just need this file as well. All this is is Super Mario Advance 4, um, the Game Boy Advance ROM, so you guys can just get this wherever you want, ME Paradise, or you can back it up yourself from your own cartridge. But anyway, so once you've got these two files, the game itself and then the save file, all you want to do is just go to the game, right click rename, and you want to copy the name of it. Then go onto the save file, right click rename, and you're going to want to just paste this in. So the save file and the game must have the exact same name. Now on your PSP, um, just go into your game folder, um, just locate your um, Game Boy Advance emulator you wish to use. You can use GBA Temp, you can use uh, GPSP, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to use GPSP for this video. But anyway, just go into your um, folder like this. I'm just going to open up another downloads folder quickly. And then all you want to do is just copy these files across. So this one will go into the ROM folder. And then this one right here will go into the save folder. So you can just check it's in there. There is my ROM. And there is my e-reader save file. So that is literally it for the PC. So now I'm just going to show you guys um, how to sort of open the save file and how to play the e-reader games. Right guys, so once you're back from your computer, just go ahead and go onto your PSP's memory stick. So from here, just go down and just choose any Game Boy Advance emulator. I'm going to use this one right here, um, GPSP, so I'm just going to press X to launch it. Right, so once your emulator loads up, just go ahead and open up the game just by pressing X or circle, um, what it, whatever it is for your emulator. So just wait for the game to load a bit. Now you just want to press the home button. From here, you just want to select the save state. So mine is in save slot zero, but you guys can change it just by going from left and right. Um, you can also configure options right here, just press X on it. So I'm just going to go back because I know mine's working. Then I'm going to go to um, return to game. So I'm just going to let the game run. Um, make sure you select single player. Then select the first one, Super Mario Bros. Right guys, so now you will see that this has come up. It's called level card. And as you can see, it says levels 32. So all you want to do is just press circle on it. So now we are into the e-reader level section. From here, if you were using the Game Boy Advance, what you'd have to do is you'd have to open packs of cards and then scan the cards to gain certain levels. But on this version, all of the levels are unlocked for us. So if you move over onto this figure right here and just press circle, and it's going to bring up all of the levels. So this is awesome. These are all unlocked. I've never played any of these before. Um, as I say, these were like an American exclusive and they were actually on the Wii U as well. So let's just go and choose a random one, Bowser's Castle. And here you go, the game works um, perfectly. So this is actually really awesome because I've been wanting to play these kind of games for a while because they're um, actually really cool. They're kind of like, it's kind of like Mario Maker. Yeah, but guys, there are so many levels on here, um, which is really cool. 
They're all like, you know, really cool sort of custom games. Let's just load up another one quickly. But anyway, guys, that is how you unlock the Mario e-reader levels on your PSP. So if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.